Keep hustling, baby. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Sneakerhead in the Bay Vlogs episode. My Bay Destrians, what's good? What's cracking? It is Thanksgiving, guys. Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to all of my people out there. I do appreciate each and every one of you, and I want to thank you for allowing me to do what I love to do. I hope each and every one of you guys are having a great day with your friends and family, and if not, it's all good, baby. We have so many more days to just chill and just catch up with people, catch up with sleep, just relax. I'm out here with Ivan right now, and we are about to try something on my trunk, and Ivan is gonna work his magic. Let's go. Boom, and just like that, we have the car out here. Looking extra crispy. But Ivan's gonna do his magic and kind of fix this carbon fiber because it's kind of faded right now. <laughs> Ivan, what's good? We are so, out so here. What we're gonna do today is try and polish out uh, the carbon fiber trunk. Pretty dirty. But yeah, it is, it. it is very dirty. Seeing that it's pretty dull, um, I'm really not too fond of it because I haven't worked on too much carbon fiber before. But it uh, should just be the clear coat bring it back a little bit if you guys want to follow Ivan follow him on his account right here stay glossy auto detailing and if you're in the Bay Area hit him up for all of your detail needs he's about to work some magic on this thing see so. it's supposed to be like this yeah that's what it's supposed to look like and this is what it's supposed to look like but this part since it's getting hit by the Sun so much it's starting to fade yeah. it's not as glossy anymore so we'll make it glossy we need that stay glossy auto detailing. You feel me? And again, shout out to Severe Sky for these stickers. I freaking love it. I feel like it gives the car so much more personality now. Like it was missing something before, but now look at it. It's just, woo, little corgi peeping. What's good, homie? Dude, it looks 10 times better already. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Simple cleaning. That's all you needed, buddy. Now, if it stayed looking this way, that would be awesome. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna clay bar this uh, just so we'll, there's no contaminants on there, and then it makes it easier for the polish to be on it. You don't fuck it up. So. Some people might say use some soap and water. Personally, as long as you have lubrication on it, uh, it'll be fine. So quick clay bar to remove any of the bad stuff that's on here. Contamination. Couple swipes, you'll feel it right away. That's a lot smoother, and it's like gripping on where there's contamination. You can, so smooth, rough. Rough. Yeah. rough, rough. I was editing the vlog from yesterday with the kid that went underneath the car. Oh. Dude, oh my god! What did he, do? <laughs> he was just like. He was rolling underneath and then he rolled out uh, and then you're just like, what the fuck? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, dude, I put in a clip of Mori and I was just like, you are not the father. <laughs> oh, no. When it comes to three-year-old Jalen, Bobby, you are not the <laughs> Shout out to that kid, though. <laughs> to clean the surface, Ivan was using Ultimate Waterless Wash and Wax by Meguiar's. Meguiar's is always on point with their materials and all of their goods. So shout out to Meguiar's. If you want to sponsor us, you know, you could come through, sponsor the kids. Meguiar's, we're waiting for you. <laughs> and you always have to have some clean microfibers on deck. Yeah, yeah, don't mind the dirty ones. The clean ones are over there on the right side. And we're also using this magic clay bar right here. Deep cleans and revives painted surfaces. Surface is looking smooth, probably feeling smooth. I'm not gonna touch it at all because my hands are dirty, but looks really good. And now what you're gonna do, like, you're gonna dry it? Yeah. Just so. Dry it out. It's ready for polishing. Here we go. All right, guys, I have a question. So I'm planning on selling this car kind of kind of soon. It just depends on the offers that I get. But should I fix the front of this car before I sell it? I feel like it's going to cost a nice chunk of change because we got a crack on the carbon fiber lip. Crack right there, crack right there. And that'll probably need to be fixed and then repainted. And we also have a crack on the bumper right here. And where's the other one? The other one's right here. And all of this was clear broad. So 
If I were to get this fixed, I would do it right again and get the clear bra. So that's why I'm asking you guys, do you think that is a big deal when you sell the car? It's not a huge damage to the front, but I just, I don't know, I, I like stuff that looks good. To me, that doesn't really look good, but I don't know, some people don't really care about stuff like that. You guys let me know what you think about it. I also had another question for some of you guys. So, let me show you something real quick. I found that these little bolts right here, each of them that goes on the top of this uh, engine, it's basically missing. I'm wondering like, how the hell did all of them come out? There's that one, that one, that one, this one, that one. Basically, all of them fell out and some of them had uh, longer studs to hold the engine cover and they are not there anymore. So I've been getting a light rattle and I'm not sure if it's because all of those are missing or if something else is loose. But if you guys know and you have like had this problem before, let me know down below. I would appreciate it. And what is this? What are you using? This is just so they know. Uh, basically a polishing compound. Ceramic gloss. It's from Rupes. Dope. Sponsor us. Italian polish. Sponsor us. Oh my. Yeah, 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 yeah. A better difference. It looks hella shiny. Yeah. Way better. So that means it shouldn't be too bad to do. This ago we got best stacking them ends and I'm snatching that rape in the morning. I was the nigga locked up in the cell and they treated me like I was normal. Taking the love for the blessing. Alright guys, so right here is basically the line. This is the before and then this is the after. As you guys can see, the after is so much more smooth and so much more glossy. Like you can actually see the reflection. And over here, it's just, there's a it's shadow. It's foggy. Yeah. So. Looks way better. Dang. Gracias, yes, Ivan. Thank you. No problem. Ooh, we are looking at some glass. Look at this. We finally see the reflections. It's looking really, really nice. You guys saw it before how it was all foggy, and now it is all crispy looking extra clean so what's next ivan you're gonna seal it up and then basically it but that's it gotta do the yeah you're gonna do this one this section and then one. we're gonna seal the whole thing up yeah beautiful see like how it's kind of foggy at the bottom of the trunk now when ivan passes over it you're gonna see how it just kind of blends itself messed up right now just sealing it up with some jet sealant and it's looking mighty fine look at that Looks extra good. Just did make a nigga do boogaloo. Billy Moose and with the Sigma Suits. I'm having more strikes in the Dita Booth. Having that dick in the mouth. All right, guys, it got a little bit darker as you may be able to tell, but Ivan is just finishing up the trunk and it is looking amazing. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see everything because, again, it is kind of dark, but I will do my best to show you guys what we did on the trunk because it's looking fire. Fire. There we have it. Nice and shiny. No more faded carbon fiber. Trunk is looking really good. Again, shout out to Ivan for this. All right, guys, we just had a beautiful Thanksgiving dinner with Ivan, my girlfriend, my mother, and my father. Whoop. <laughs> dinner was good. You guys like dinner? That was good? That was good. All right, now we are about to do some Black Friday shopping on a Thursday. Early. Early. Early Black Friday. I want to go to the mall to pick up some Cinnabon and... <laughs> Your dad wants some too. And my dad wants some too. <laughs> Man, what the f is going on? It's Don Felipe back at it in the mix. You know we added something to the beanie this time. What is good? I don't know if I should be uh, proud or embarrassed of you. Like, no, God! No, God, please, no, no! I would be pretty <laughs> proud of this right here. This is looking real nice. What do you think about it, Ivan? Are you gonna support the movement or what? <laughs> I think you look cute. Thank you. You with your little ears. All right, we are gonna go Black Friday shopping like this, so let's go. <laughs> let's uh, get a move on it. Just need to put my pants on. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to be out here in the nudes. I'm gonna see what my mom says about this. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna support or not, but we're gonna see. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What? <laughs> what are you, Alex? You like that? 
Yes. Mm hmm It's fine. Yeah, it looks good, right? Yeah. Gonna get all all the all new friends and stuff. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think uh Halloween's a little past two, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I look really good. Yeah, you look good, except your ears need oh, to you be fix them? like yeah, that. Fix okay. There you go. Thank you. Standing up a little bit. Thank you. There you go, see? Don Felipe, we out. <laughs> <laughs>